Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics. And uh, today's question is, in Barry's classic experiment on the genetic drift in flies, what was surprising about the change in average heterozygosity over time? What is likely explanation? And here on the picture you see um, this experiment and this line uh, represent uh, um, the uh, predicted uh, results of the experiment and these red dots uh, represent actual data that were uh, received from the experiment and this line uh, shows the mean of the um, experimental data. So uh, what that experiment was about? Uh, that experiment was about loss of the heterozygosity and fixation of the alleles in small communities. So, as you know, the smaller community, uh, the least uh, viable it's going to be uh, in the following generations. Uh, for example, you probably know that if you start a new population uh, having just few animals, for example, it can be dogs or cats, with only two, three or five uh, animals, uh, when you breed them with each following generation, uh, each individual would be weaker and uh, the whole population uh, would be weaker uh, than the, uh, uh, the parental uh, generation and eventually such uh, population would die out. And this is due to loss of the heterozygosity and uh, loss of diversity and fixation of some of the alleles uh, and uh, some of them would can be deleterious uh, for the uh, population. And um, this experiment were confirming uh, why this happens. And uh, let me explain uh, this experiment in more detail. Uh, first of all, uh, this uh, the data were uh, compared uh, of the color of the uh, flies. There were three colors uh, of the uh, eyes, white, uh, pink, and red. And this was due to two alleles. And one allele is uh, BW. And one when uh, there were two such alleles, BW, BW, the color of uh, eyes were white. And when there were um, uh, allele that were BW and BW75, the color was pink, the color of the eyes. And when there were BW75 allele, and second allele also B W seventy five. The color of the eyes were red. So as you see, um, heterozygous form that is here uh, were intermediate between uh, these um, two uh, variants or homozygous variants. So here we see incomplete dominance when heterozygous is just intermediate between two um, extreme variants, two homozygous variants. So, uh, as you see, this is very easy to count uh, such um, flies. You don't have to do any um, gel running. Uh, you just can count them visually. So, uh, what uh, he have done, he took uh, eight flies each generation. Uh, four of them were male and, uh, sorry, uh, he took 16 flies each generation. Uh, eight of them were males and eight of them were females. And he count uh, these colors here. So, he know uh, which uh, allele is homozygous for the white color, which is heterozygous, and which is homozygous for the red color. And then, uh, for the next uh, generation, so he uh, let them 
uh, made uh, freely and uh, for the next generation he took first eight males uh, from the eggs and first eight females from the eggs and uh, he used them to establish the uh, next generation uh, generation two and then he just repeats this uh, uh, step in order to uh, make generation three and so on for the uh, 20 consecutive generations and uh, as you see uh, heterozygosity as predicted uh, were lost uh, but uh, the rate of the loss of the uh, heterozygosity were greater than predicted why this happens and he, here is explanation so let me use uh, different colors to represent uh, each genotype for example this is a uh, genotype that is BWBW so uh, for example we have um, five uh, such flies also we would have uh, five uh, flies that is uh, BW and BW75 and um, so we can say six also and uh, and we also may have um, five flies that were um, homozygous for the BW75 allele so the color of the eyes would be red and altogether, as you see, uh, the first generation were 16 flies. And we can call this uh, uh, gene pool because each color represents uh, some uh, genotype. For example, this is this genotype and this is represents this genotype and this one represents uh, this genotype. So um, why uh, the experimental data that he got were different from predicted and decline were more uh, steep? Uh, that's uh, because uh, not all, as you see this uh, generation here, first generation, we call this WC or population census but uh, actually uh, not all the um, so uh, as you understand also half of this uh, were males and half of this were females but uh, according to the uh, idealized population each of these uh, flies should, should mate uh, female with male but actually not of them uh, participate in the mating some of them uh, was not uh, breeding so uh, some of them were excluded from this process uh, because uh, they may have uh, some problems with reproductive system and uh, others uh, can be outcompete for example and uh, also uh, some of them can uh, die before uh, the reproductive uh, age so actually uh, the size of the population when calculated were instead of 16 were uh, uh, 9.2 that means that uh, effective population size uh, we use WE for the uh, effective population size we are 9.2 uh, instead of uh, um, population se uh, census that were 16 so uh, because uh, only 9 um, 9 uh, flies participated in breeding so let me circle them uh, there were reduction 
in uh, heterozygosity and reduction of the heterozygosity were uh, faster than predicted because uh, as you see here uh, instead of uh, 16 um, flies only 9.2 uh, this is of course a mathematical uh, number so it was some generation 9 in other generation it's probably were 10 so uh, mean were about 9.2 animals uh, flies uh, that uh, participate in breeding and the smaller uh, the community the faster is uh, reduction in the heterozygosity uh, there would be loss of the heterozygosity and faster there would be a fixation of uh, one of the uh, alleles so eventually uh, at the end only one color would uh, prevail in the uh, or would be left in this community where it con could be uh, red or white and uh, this uh, heterozygous would be lost and uh, one of the colors also uh, eventually would be lost and the smaller the community the faster this uh, process would go and this experiment uh, show and confirm this um, prediction and this is very important for the conservational biology uh, for the breeding programs uh, and uh, that we have to take into account not the um, uh, population size census but population size uh, effective and uh, it also can be affected by um, uh, family size uh, meaning that some of the um, uh, flies in like in this experiment may have more progeny than the others and uh, ideally we count them like every uh, male and female would have uh, equal number of the progeny uh, but uh, in real life this is not so some of uh, the um, individuals may have more progeny than the others some may participate in the breeding some not and uh, also uh, some males may have more mates than the others so all this affect uh, effective population size and this should be taken into account so uh, thank you for your attention this is all for today please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye